Hello everyone, now let's talk about Burp Suite. So Burp Suite is one of the most popular security testing tool. So we can use Burp Suite in order to intercept our HTTP request which is going out through our web browser. So Burp Suite contains different different tabs and each and different tab contains different different functions. So the Burp Suite contains tabs like proxies, intruders, scanners. So the proxy tab is used for intercepting our request and it's a proxy function. So intruder tab contains a different different attacks which we can perform on a remote website like we want to perform a dictionary attack, brute force attack and the scanner module or scanner tab in Bob Suite is used for scanning particular website and its vulnerability. There is one more interesting tab in Bob Suite called as decoder. So the decoder contains different kind of functions which we can use in order to decode a particular thing like URL decode, base64 decode. So Bob Suite is available in two versions, pro and free. So the in Kali Linux, the Bob Suite is already installed and it's a free version. And if you are a penetration tester, so you can use Bob Suite as a pro version because it contains more features than free one. So Bob Suite is freely available for Linux, Mac and Windows. Now let's see how we can intercept our HTTP request by using Bob Suite. Now let's see that how we can use Burp Suite inside Kali Linux and Windows. So by default the Burp Suite is installed in Kali Linux and if you are looking to use Burp Suite in Windows then you can download from their official website. And right now you can see that I am inside my Kali Linux instance and on the left hand side you will see this icon. So this is the Burp Suite. So let me just click over it and you can see it's a Burp Suite free edition. So I'm using Burp Suite free edition. So when the first time you will use the Burp Suite. So it asks us for this temporary project and or if you want to create a new project. So click on next, use Burp defaults and start Burp. So this is how the Burp Suite menu looks like. Here you can see the different different tabs and they have different different functions like proxy tab is used for intercepting our request, then spider is used for crawl crawling the website, scanning the website, intruder is used for performing different attacks, brute force attack and different password guessing attacks, the repeater is used to repeat our request, then decoder is used to decode the strings like base64 decode and URL encoding, URL decoding, then there are some other options. So right now we are just interested on this option proxy because we want to intercept our request which is going out from our browser. And once we are here in this tab proxy, click on this options and here you can see that our Burp Suite is up and running on this IP 127.0.0.1 that's a local host and port is 8080. Now what we have to do is we have to configure our browser. Now let me open this Firefox browser. So in order to configure the browser we have to go here preference then advanced and here is the network settings. So we have to configure the network settings and here you, so by default when you will just uh, open the settings it will just like this use system proxy. So we have to click over here manual proxy configuration and we have to fill the IP address of the burp suite along with its port number. And we have to select this use this proxy server for all protocols. Click on OK. Okay now our burp suite has been configured now every request which will go out from our browser, we'll first go to the burp suite and there we can intercept our request and if we want to do some modification, we can, then we can forward the request to the server. Now just for example, let me just intercept this request tutorialspoint.com and here you can see I have requested tutorialspoint.com and it's waiting. Now let me open my burp suite and okay this one is the request of clients.google.com let me just forward it up okay and here you can see the entire request so http method is get it's an http version 
hostistutorialspoint.com and here you can also check the user agent and if you just click on headers you can see here the header name and its value and if you just want to see the hex value of this request so here is the hex value and if you just click on forward then it will forward our request otherwise if you just click on drop then it will here you can see that our request is dropped by user burps with error now by default the burp suite is configured to intercept the request which is using http protocol now what if if a particular website is running on https then our burp suite will unable to intercept the request so to configure the burp suite to intercept the https request so what we can do is we have to install burp suite certificate so in the url bar just write down http burp hit enter and here you can see the burp suite menu and on the right hand side at the top you can see here ca certificate so click on this link and here is the burp certificate so just save this file and open this file so this is the burp suite certificate you can see here and if you just want to look at the detail you can so this certificate is verified and issued by portsvigar which is the company that maintains the burp suite and if you i scroll down you can see the issuer name issuer country then certificate serial number certificate fingerprints along with it hashes and here you can see the fingerprint of public key now just click on import and we have to write here password okay click on okay and here you can see that our certificate is successfully imported let me just close this certificate now and let me just write here tutorials point again okay let me just forward this forward this request okay here you can see it's still http request no https here you can see it's http but forward this and it will be redirected to the https have to wait for a time being okay so this will give this error so click on advanced and add exception click on confirm security exception and now here you can see that our burp suite can intercept https traffic here you can see the https along with this lock sign and if you just want to look at its header you can click on forward and here is the https website so the same thing you can do in order to intercept the request of facebook or any other social website or any other website which running on https and here if you just go to http history you can see the our recent http request which was made by the user so let me just turn off it intercept and close the burp suite so once we close the burp suite and if i just open any website you will see the proxy server is refusing the connections so this we will see this error when our burp suite is not running so we have to change our settings again back to use system proxy now this will work here you can see So this was the short introduction of Burp Suite. So thanks for watching this video.